another important uh, property of laplace transforms discussed in ushendra's engineering tutorials it's a time differentiation property in laplace transforms so this will be given we have to find out the laplace transform d by dt of x of t and uh, according to the definition the laplace transform of any given function uh, the given function d by dt of x of t multiplied with e raised to minus st and integrated from 0 to infinity with respect to t this is the definition for laplace transform of any given function and here uh, as we go ahead we need to use the uv rule in integration like uh, the definition like uv rule goes like this u into integral v the first function and the integral of the second function minus integral of derivative of the first function and in integral of the second function the entire product this entire product being integrated once again with respect to x so this is what uh, the rule according to uv integration rule so going ahead recollecting the previous expression for e is the laplace transform d by dt of x of t will be equal to the given function d by dt of x of t is multiplied with e raised to minus st integrated from 0 to infinity with respect to t and uh, here let's consider this as uh, u and this as our v we need to plug in according to uv rule and according to uv rule integral uv is equal to the first function u into the integral of the second function the second function v this will be our uh, u and this will be our v u into integral v and v is this one okay in that case minus it's a uh, the derivative of the first function according to uv rule the second the simplification goes like this is for the first function and uh, minus derivative of the first function derivative of uh, the first function being e raised to minus st the derivative of this one will be minus s over here into e raised to minus st the derivative of the first function into integral of the second function right and this whole term this whole term will be integrated again with respect to t according to uv rule and we need to have uh, something else something else is missing here we need to plug in these values the limits of integration in the first term these being the lower limit zero being the lower limit and infinity being the upper limit and this entire equation which is equal to the laplace transform of d by dt of x of t right and guys remember in the further as we go ahead this integration and uh, this differentiation doesn't exist these two gets cancelled out each other and we'll be left over only with x of t here this e raised to minus st in the next step as we go further these integration and differentiation gets cancelled and here we'll be having e raised to minus st into x of t and here also integral this integration and differentiation gets cancelled we will be left with x of t and as we move ahead plugging in these values upper limit being infinity and lower limit being zero plugging in these values where we have to plug in we have to plug in in the place of t it should come over here and here so let's see what happens as we go ahead so plugging in the upper limit and the lower limit what we have is the first the upper limit e rise to t in this place of t and this t we need to plug in the upper limit e rise to minus s into in the place of t we have infinity and x of t we have x of infinity why are only x of x of this one because this integration and this differentiation gets cancelled and we don't have this in the further analysis right and this is for the upper limit and plugging in the lower limit it is minus of e rise to minus s into in the place of t we have 0 and again in the place of t we have uh, 0 over here this is the transformation when we plug in the upper limit and lower limit in this expression followed by minus of integration minus of s into e raised to minus st and we will be left with uh, this one this integration and uh, this differentiation doesn't exist anymore cancelled out each other we will be left with x of t dt this is one check 
0 to integral 0 to infinity we have here minus s minus s into e raised to minus st yes we have into this one this entire term becomes uh, this entire term integration and uh, differentiation gets cancelled out we will be left with x of t that came out and we have over here this is the transformation okay and watch carefully in this expression this one is e raised to minus s into infinity this will be minus infinity e raised to minus infinity it will be zero uh, zero into this one that will be entirely zero like this 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 right uh, e raised to we had we had uh, e raised to we have e raised to minus s into infinity into x of infinity no but not this one we have to focus on this one e raised to minus s into infinity that will be zero so entire term will be zero and watch carefully e raised to minus s into zero e raised to zero that will be one and so in this expression we will be left with uh, simply that one right and going ahead this will be equal to see here we have a minus x of zero we have over here and going ahead this s in the above expression this expression has nothing to do inside the integration integration is with, with respect to t and so this has to do nothing inside the integration so that can come out that comes out and uh, negative this negative and this negative that will be positive this is the reason and uh, x of t as it is e raised to minus st as it is and this dt as it is and we have the integration 0 to infinity is this check once again s came out nothing to do being nothing to do inside the integration that comes out plus into plus so that will be a positive x of t yes x of t e raised to minus st e raised to minus st dt and integration as it is yes this is the simplification on the lhs this entire equation which is equal to the laplace transform of d by dt of x of t so going ahead what we have is laplace transform of uh, derivative of x of t will be equal to s into integration 0 to infinity x of t raised to minus st dt minus x of 0 right so guys uh, what is this watch carefully integration 0 to infinity x of t e raised to minus st dt that could be substituted with x of s and my final expression for the laplace transform of uh, d by dt of x of t it will be s into x of s minus x of 0 and uh, this x of 0 is known as the initial condition it may be in the circuit analysis this equation this uh, property will be very much useful in evaluating some electrical circuits such as uh, a circuit with a capacitor inductor etc this one it may be this which is blinking it may be the initial voltage across the capacitor or initial current through the inductor right you can find uh, the need of uh, this x of zero in further analysis and keep in mind while we obtain the transfer functions this may be this will be neglected transfer functions are obtained neglecting the initial conditions keep that in mind you will come across in some other courses also right a very important derivation like a very important property in laplace transforms this is the final deduction hope you find this useful if you find it useful please subscribe my channel uh, to learn more yeah, stay home stay safe and learn from home this is ushendra's engineering tutorials signing off for today thank you so much